Hi there, Tim here with Angel ECU. Angel ECU offers advanced environmental control units allowing individuals afflicted with severe disability control over your environment. Our ECUs were designed from the ground up to include an arsenal of intelligently designed features and capabilities all aimed at improving the quality of your life. We've been doing this for a long time. We're very good at what we do. We want to make it easier for you to do the things that you need to do. If you have a disability or know somebody who has a disability such as quadriplegia, ALS, MS, etc., you owe it to yourself to check out what we have to offer. This control system allows an individual who is no longer able to use their hands to control many devices within their environment, such as your television, but you're not just limited to one. You can control several. There's really no hard limit. But not just your television, your entire audio-video entertainment system. So DVD player, uh, satellite, cable TV, VCR, CD player, Whatever the case may be, you can control lights and appliances, fans, bed control, door access, nurse call, camera systems. There are powerful telephone features included inside the box, including a built-in speakerphone. So there is uh, quite a bit of control power at your fingertips. Let me give you a little demonstration uh, and an overview of what we have here. This model here is our high-end ECU. It's the model FX. It would normally be installed wherever the user spends the majority of their time. However, it can be remotely controlled from your wheelchair in a variety of ways. This module here is uh, our model VR2. It's a wireless, battery-operated voice recognition module allowing you to issue voice commands to the ECU ECU carries out the programming and controls your environment. We have a variety of control modules that all working together offer a comprehensive solution to your control problem. This module here is called an IOPOD and it adds resources to the ECU. It learns infrared commands from your existing remote controls, also allows uh, control of a wide variety of other equipment, but you can connect up to 10 of these modules to the system, creating uh, a pretty advanced control scenario. Now, if this unit were to be installed in your bedroom and you wanted to control equipment that was located in other parts of your home, like in your living room or perhaps in your den or whatever the case may be, you could install one of these modules out there it's offered in a wireless, a wireless uh, model. So this unit connects and communicates to the ECU up to 1,200 feet away to control your environment. This is another module that we have. It's called an R-Pod. It has two isolated relays in it. It connects to the system wirelessly up to 1,200 feet away. It can integrate to uh, door opening devices, burglar alarm systems, page turning devices. There's a variety of other things that you can do with it, but um, it's a real compact and, and integrated way of, of controlling those devices. This module here is uh, what we call an APOD, A for alert. It's an, it's an advanced alerting module. It's a way for someone to summon help. The best thing about this is that it is supervised. So when the user issues a request for help, you know whether it was received or not. There's two-way communication between the APOD module and the ECU so that you're not left wondering whether help is on the way or not. I'll, allow me to demonstrate, please. I'm going to give some voice commands to this VR2 and we're going to uh, see the results here. Now, you can't see in the other room the uh, air conditioning system. We have a, a module integrating the system to the uh, April Air thermostat. 
So um, I'm going to give you a demonstration of that as well as the uh, APOD over here. Wake up. Display temp. Okay. This is great, right? It shows you the current temperature as well as the set temperature right now. So no guessing. You know what you're doing. You can Main control. Menu. You can control your heating and air conditioning. You can control the mode, put it in heat mode, cool mode, shut it off, raise the temperature, lower the temperature. Send help. Okay. Main menu. There are actually four different patterns of uh, sound and light so that you can convey the intended message. Um, you know, priority versus maybe not so important messages, but it'll, selecting the pattern of light and sound allows you to convey the intended, you know, the urgency of your request. In this demonstration example, we're going to control this lamp here. We're going to call this the bedside lamp. Now, all these demonstrations so far, we've, uh, they've all been via voice recognition, but the system is also switch activated, so you can use any kind of a third-party switch device to control the system. We also offer it with a built-in sip and puff switch. I'm going to demonstrate that to you uh, shortly. But when you want to control lighting with the system via voice, it is not necessary to use two separate voice commands to control the light. For example, one command to turn the light on, and then another command to turn the light off. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. You don't need to. You shouldn't waste commands in that in that way. So, you would just create a unique name for the lamp, and this is the phrase that you would train and use to control the lamp. Let me give you a demonstration. Wake up. Bedside lamp. Okay. bedside lamp. Okay. Just like that. Watch TV. Okay. History Channel. You can voice call a friend. Call Jim. Okay. Hang up the phone. Hello. Hey, Jim. How's it going? Going all right, dude. How's the weather down there? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's, uh, um... The FX ECU is packed with amazing telephone features, several of which are unique to Angel ECU and designed specifically to benefit individuals with disabilities. As I mentioned to you before, the FX ECU is also switch controlled, so any number of different switch type devices can be used and you can connect them to the system, you can control the system with those. 
We also offer a built-in sip and puff switch as an option. So there's a nozzle on the back of the system and you can connect an airline tubing to that. The sip and puff switch would be built inside the unit in this case. And then you would have your airline. Now, there are different methods for holding the airline. Usually it's either connected through on a gooseneck or uh, there's also, we also have another uh, device that you wear like as a necklace and it holds the tube up, you know, down here. But in any event, let me demonstrate how you can use the air pressure to control the system. Now, it's important for you to realize that you don't need to use any lung capacity to do this. Simply the vacuum that you create in your mouth, like that, sipping soda through a straw, or puffing a small puff of air into the tube allows you to control the system. Main menu, bed. Exit menu, head up, head down, feet up, feet down, bed up, bed down, exit menu. I'll take you through the telephone menu. Telephone, exit menu, dial 911, redial, pre-dial, dial zero, contact directory, join a call, view caller ID. Special speed dial. Exit menu. Main menu. That's all there is to it. We also have the very unique model SSV4 that provides automatic saliva extraction for individuals that have lost the ability to swallow. Telephone. Audio. Climate control. Bed. Nurse call. Door. Camera. Pump. The FX ECU is packed full of powerful telephone features. It's really great. Um, give us a call and we'd be happy to answer your questions right up here. Contact us online, angelecu.com. We thank you for your time.